Here at the Gnostics, we've, we've been able to take a large cohort of men from Alberta, both northern and southern, uh, and we've been able to screen these, these gentlemen uh, who are at risk for prostate cancer and develop a test using a simple blood draw, so one tube of blood. And from that tube of blood, we can identify small bits of cancer cells within the blood that have the same markers as an intact cancer cell. What that enables us to do is identify those men that have aggressive prostate cancer that would otherwise be in that gray zone of maybe, maybe not. And then it, what we're able to do then is actually give the physician more information and the patient more information to make a more informed decision. And we're using a, a unique technique and technology that enables us to look at all of these small particles, one particle at a time, and look at all of these different little biomarkers on each little bits of those cancer cells that are floating in the bloodstream. The PSA test is really good. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, the problem is its specificity. So we're able to increase the specificity to identify about 40% more men that have uh, increased risk of prostate cancer. So by doing that, we can actually continue monitoring those men, but also sort of delay their biopsy so that we actually decrease the number of men going for unnecessary biopsies. We did something really no one had done before, which was figure out, really work on how do we allow researchers coming out of the academic environment who are creating great health technology, how do we actually let them in early to the real world clinical environment in order to help sort of shape their path as they look to bring their product to market, but more importantly for us, how we bring their technology to Albertans. I think Alberta benefits because historically what has happened is the technology that gets developed, we actually don't apply it first here. And part of the reason we do that is it's not ready yet. It's not ready for the real world. And we needed to create a great bridge between that academic research world and the actual clinical world that has to deliver testing to patients every day. And so what we created behind us was a set of suites right in the center of our main testing facility to essentially act as that bridge. It's that place where researchers and academics can come to move their technology to the next step. And it's the place where we can come and explore their technology with them to figure out how we pull it out of this environment and into our mainstream clinical practice. And at the receiving end of that are all the Alberta patients who will get the technology first. Uh, and first in the world because it was developed here.